this tutorial is all about liquid pouring loop animation in After Effects, including amazing tips and tricks about the motion graphics. So let's start it. First of all, I'm going to create a one composition and give it a name as a main. My composition ratio is 1920 by 1080 and frame rate is 25. So let's make it okay. Now I'm going to create a one more solid on this one and I'm going to apply the name is BG and leave it something like this with the same color. Okay, and now what I have to do, I have to create a one my flat mug and uh, graphics in After Effects. Let's select the rounded rectangle shape tool and create a one vertical rectangle over here. Jump into the uh, rectangle path and make the roundness about the 12. Now I'm just going to make a center into the composition and let's make the height little bit smaller, something like this. That's good enough. Now let's make a duplicate copy of this one and remove the fill from this. So I'm just going to remove the fill and apply the stroke on that. So I'm just going to select the stroke of that and going to apply the 12 value of the stroke. Now what I need, I'm just going to shifting the anchor point of this one and below of this over here and let's make the scale little bit smaller. I'm just going to apply the value is 90. So that's done. Now we are going to create a mug handle. So let's select the ellipse tool from over here and I'm just going to draw a one shape over here. Okay, that's good enough. And let's increase the value like a 15 of the stroke of that one. And now let's make it also into the center of the composition. <coughs> and let's increase the width of that. I'm just going to about almost like 18. So that should be the thickness of that one. And now I'm just going to shift the anchor point of that mug into the center of the uh, main body of the mug. Now let's done. It is over here. And let's select all of the layer and duplicate of this one and just take it above, change the label of this layer. I'm just going to change into the green one. Okay, good enough. And now I'm going to select all of these above three layers, which we have created with the duplicator. And let's make it zoom out and let's open the position property of this and take out the mug outside from over here. That's good enough. Now let's create a new null object. Select all the layers except uh, background layer and parent it with the null object. Now open the position property of the null object, give the key onto the zero number frame and then let's jump onto the one second and give the key again onto the position property of the null object and change the position. Okay, it's done. Now select both the keys, press F9 and convert into the easy is. Now let's select the handle into the graph and uh, convert the graph something like this one. Now let's come out from the graph editor. Now what we have to do, we have to create a 3D illusion of the mug rotation. So uh, mug animation. So first of all, we are just going to select the, both the handle and let's place the scale property of that. And then what I have to do, I'm just going to give the key on this one. So let's give the key on over here. Let's jump onto the zero number free and give the key again on both of them. Now for both, we have to give the different values. So for this, this layer, we have to give the value over here. It is the scale value should be something like, uh, uh, let me apply the 22. So it's going to be shrink something like that. And for this layer, we have to jump into the end keyframe and here we have to apply the value like a 22 over here. Now select both the keys and place F9, convert in easy ease, jump into the graph editor. And now let's change the graph something like this. Just a little bit, we are going to drag something like over here. It's done. And now let's play the animation once. Okay, so we have seen that a beautiful 3D illusion mug rotation. This is the first step. So if you like, just give like, subscribe and comment and also click onto the bell icon and also share this tutorial with the newcomers or any artist you know. Now let's start to animate our liquid fill animation in our mug. So first of all, what I have to do, I am just going to select my mug to fill liquid shape. And here what I am going to do, I am just going to open the scale property of this one and I am going to increase the scale something like over here. And I am opening this layer and let's make a roundness of this layer about zero. So let's make the roundness almost like a zero over here. So that's a good thing and same thing we have to do with over here. Let's jump into this one, open this and rectangle path and also make the roundness of zero over here also. So that's done. Now what exactly I need for the mug? two layer over here. Let's open the scale property again and I'm just going to make the scale value zero over here. 
from, from where it should be start let's place the u over here here it is the animation is going to be done then one two and three frame and let's apply the scale property over key over here for the mug to fill liquid layer let's jump 20 frames ahead and let's make the value almost again the 90 which we have applied before now the thing is that here which is the issue is going to be come over here you can see that it is coming but our mug handle is visible inside the mug so for that what we have to do let's make a duplicate copy of this one and open this uh, scale property first of all and let's make it 100 over here again by default let's go ahead and also make it over here 100 again and then change the name of this layer into the mat so it's done now let's select our fill liquid layer jump into the effect panel and let's go into the channel and apply the set mat on that now let's choose the layer mat over here apply effect and mask on that one so now what is going to be happen if i hide the mite and let's make it that so our liquid fill is only visible into the mug area here you can see that our mug handle is visible inside the mug area so for that what we have to do uh, just copy this segment effect from the liquid layer and let's apply onto the mug handle layer control v but you can see that it's remove all of the mugs so for that what we have to do we have still the animation on mat area which we have to remove mat layer so for just remove the scale animation from over here first thing we have done now let's select this and what we have to do we have to just apply that over here inverted so you can see that now our handle is not visible into the mug area if you can start seeing animation it's not visible into the mug area so that exactly we need now we want to create the wave in our liquid so for that we are going to select our mug to fill liquid and first thing i want to do is that i want to just change the position of this one so i'm just going to take a little bit below something like over here and then let reveal our mat layer and let's increase the scale of this so let's open the scale property of this one jump over here and let's increase the scale something almost when it reaches okay it's 104 let me apply the 105 over here so that is exactly we need now what we want to do we are just going to select this and we have to hide this mat layer by selecting uh, liquid layer jump into the effect menu go into the distort and apply the wave wrap effect on that now you can see that we have this bottom issue to resolve that just put the wave wrap effect above the segment effect so that will be solved over here now what we can do we are just going to reduce the size of that so it's going to be something like that one and i am just going to increase the speed something like a two point something or like that one and let's change the wave width something like almost okay that's good enough and let's increase the size i think okay that's look good over here so that is going to be nice and now you can see that it's looking weird over here why it's looking weird reason is that we have the mat over there which is just settled over there so for that what i'm going to do over here i'm just going to increase the mat value like something over here okay so let's make it 100 so you can see that it's going up there and it's giving us a proper resolution over here so you can see that it's making really going good 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 what exactly we need so that's okay our wave animation is almost generated you can see that and it's coming something like this but now we need some changes inside that one so again what we are going to do just select this layer jump into the effect just go again into the distort and apply the turbulent displacement on that and let's pick it again and put it above the mat layer segment effect and now we have to change that over here so i'm just going to change the complexity let's make a little bit okay it should not go something like so i'm just going to make a complexity something like that and let's make it change the amount and let's make the size little bit lower something like this and okay let's make change something like this okay that is also good enough and i think we have to okay that is also good enough now let's see the animation how it look like yes it's looking really nice you can see that it's really really looking nice while liquid is pouring inside so that's a good enough thing we have and now one more thing we have to do is a 2.7 is good enough and it's jumping over here now we have to create our pouring animation so now we are going to select the pen tool from over here let's make it a zoom and i'm just going to give the uh, first vertex over here and let's place the shift and create something like this and i'm just going to decreasing the stroke width of this liquid pouring animations width and i'm just going to jump so give the name it is a 
pour uh, liq pour liquid and just make it okay let's open this one i'm going into the stroke property uh, and we have to change the line cap to butt cap to round cap uh, and then let's make it minimize add the uh, trim path property on this one and what i will do i'm just going to open the trim path let's make the start value 100 first of all and give the key over here okay and when we have to give the key so we have to just jump on this option when the scale is started over here and then let's uh, move this key over here let's zo jump ahead one two three four and five frames and make the start value zero and then we have to jump onto the last keyframe of over here which is the scale animation and give the end key over there and make the end value zero let's come ahead five frames three four five and let's make the end value 100 over here so this is the animation now we have to adjust the timing over here so you can see that when it is started and it's reaching almost something so you can see that we have to understand so let's take this animation little bit back first of all so and now go frame by frame okay it's touching on this frame so now what i will do i'm just going to take it above over here and take one frame almost something like this uh, and i think it should be a little bit more okay this is will be the good enough so now if i'm going to play this animation you can see the timing of this liquid animation is going to be started okay you can see that it's going really good and nice one okay so now let's select and press u again one more time we are going to play this one yes it's looking really nice when it's come it stayed for a little bit of time okay now we can change in that one also so let's come over here and go one frame ahead and let's make a change something like this so let's select all the keyframe almost over here okay good enough and let's take uh, also select this one and let's take it almost something like from over here okay the timing is most important guys anytime you are starting the animation this is the tip second the timing is the most important thing you have to always remember okay it's done and it has a really good timing now i want to change one more thing so when it is going to be closed let's okay this is the final in so this is the one thing and where we have to stop this animation of the liquid also which is floating something like that so we have to convert that the poor liquid this is the animation is going to be stopped so let's go ahead let's go ahead let's go ahead or we can do one more thing okay here it is the land let's move this animation something like over here okay and then it is going to be stopped when it is going something like this so, so for that what we are going to we are just select this layer and apply the key on this wave wave height and the in turbulence displacement we have to give the key on to the amount also now select this layer and press u over here and let's move this keyframe little bit ahead something like over here and just go one and two frame ahead and let's make this value zero so i'm just going to apply zero over here and zero over here so now if i'm going to play this animation you can see that it's just going to be stop okay let's see that okay so let's make it a little bit late something like over here i'm just going to take two frames ahead i need a proper liquid animation not just like making animation we have to feel it's looking real yes it's going good enough now what exactly i need when it's going to be shut down this stroke is invisible or uh, its animation is finished we need one uh, droplet coming out from the water so i'm just going to select a uh, uh, ellipse shape tool and i'm going to draw one uh, shape over here ellipse shape remove the stroke from that and applying the fill on that one so i'm just going to select the same color over here let's make it okay and now let's open the position property of that layer and the scale property of that layer exactly from over here let's go one two three four frames ahead and i think five frame is good one and now let's change the position something out from over here almost like this and now let's change the scale of that making little bit bigger and uh, thickness will should be something like smaller like that one and now one two three four five frame again i'm going ahead and let's copy this keyframe and paste over here now select all the keyframes and press f9 jump into the graph editor and let's make it a little bit zoom over here and change the graph something like this so i'm going to change the graph almost like this over here and same thing we have to do on this side so i'm going to apply something like this over here okay that's good enough and now let's check the animation at the timing is proper or not so let's go ahead so now you can see that we have an amazing liquid pouring 
animation over here so now one thing one issue let's solve this first of all so i have what is the main issue the dot or the drop is visible from the start so what we have to do, just come over here and let's uh, trim the dot layer or drop layer over here let's give the name that is the water drop over here so that's good enough now one more thing we have to change the waviness is stopped over here but when the droplet coming back into the water almost like this when it's touching we have that animation we have to generate positive effect the surface of the water and creating the waviness again so for that we have to do one more thing again what we are going to do we are just going to copy this keyframe control c and control v then one two three four and five frames exactly from over here we have to not exactly like this let's jump ahead again and i think we have to change something okay let's uh, okay this is one good one uh, i think we should come something little bit over here uh, i think okay that one is good one and then what we have to do we have to just copy this claim control c control v over here and then just one two three four five frames and let's make it zero again so control c and control v keyframe over here so now we have already generated our liquid pouring loop animation and here on the last keyframe you have to limit your work area so you will get your loop animation now let's see the animation first of all okay you can see that now we have generated amazing liquid pouring loop animation and you can see that we have taken care of each and every detail for our liquid pouring the water droplet and generating the wave so everything is looking nice and amazing you can see that yes it's little bit started early right so what we can do let's move it little bit back something like over here and let something over here almost like this one okay good this and let's put it something over here and now play see this is the main thing you have to observe your animation also because exactly the timing is must yes now it is looking perfect so now what we need we have to enhance this animation so let's minimize all the layers first of all over here uh, quickly minimizing the layers okay now i'm just going to select all the layers except my bg layer and make it a pre-comp and giving the name that is the final uh, animation so let's make it run like this and making okay over here so our pre-comp is ready now now what exactly we need uh, i'm just going to duplicate of this pre-comp and below pre-comp i'm just going to name the give the name reflection so that is good enough now select this layer and jump into the sorry right click on that layer jump into the transform property and flip vertical now let's change the position of this layer little bit down something almost uh, over here okay that's good enough now i'm just going to select this layer jump into the effect again and go into the distort property and let's apply the cc slant effect on that one okay it's good and now let's make a slant something like uh, this on almost like this and let's change the height of slantness okay so i am just going with this good height now let's change the position of this i am going to take it little bit below something like this and change the position almost not exactly and accurate i am just going to make it little bit of distracted or uh, with error now let's open the opacity property and let's make it something like uh, almost 10 or oh, 12 is good one so you can see that it's going to be good on that now again i'm going to create a one adjustment layer to enhance my reflection go into the effect go going to the generate and apply the gradient ramp on that now one more thing i'm going to swap the color of this gradient ramp then what i'm going to do i'm just going to take this on most and let's first of all change the blending mode i'm going to apply the screen or uh, i think let's apply the uh not screen but let me apply the multiply over here so you can see that the beautiful effect over here now let's again select the start ramp and let's select and press shift it should be over here and now let's select this one and take it down something like this and press the shift okay it's looking good enough so our <coughs> liquid pouring loop animation 
is ready guys with amazing tips and tricks we used in after effects to generate the 3d illusion of the mug animation and also we focus in detail of the liquid pouring animation and when it should wave or not wave that we have take the precaution of that and now you can see that it's looking really amazing so i hope you like this tutorial so give a like a button on a click and then give share subscribe and also comment how you learn from this tutorial. See you next time. Goodbye.